waiting. <clears throat> Greetings, folks. This is Eric. I'm going to give you a quick video today. I'm doing some PHP programming and some CSS uh, editing, uh, basically customizing my website, getting it along here. I'm posting this post about how I solved this error, uh, PHP fatal error called to member function on array. Um, you can read it. I'll put the link in the description. But um, basically, what I did was I used a, uh, I just did this CSS right here. Let me show you how that works. So this is, let me see if I can move that out of the way. All right. So all this right here, this EHW prog dash name, that's a class I just made. And you notice I've got padding left 1EM. And see what happens when I unclick that. Interesting. I unclick the border. Huh. That is not doing what I thought it was. Not this one. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go padding left. Boom. That moves out there. Border left. That goes away. Width 100%. Display block. See that? You need that display block to make the bar go all the way across the whole page. Um, background color Gainsborough. That's that nice medium gray. Get rid of that. And font weight bold. So that's what I started with originally. So go ahead and reload it again. And what I'm hoping to do here is to take you through kind of my process on how I, I design and uh, format something with CSS. So what we're going to do is we're going to format this into a nice error type look. All right. So what I want to do first is I'm in Chrome, so I'm in the developer tools. And if you're a developer, you've seen this before. Um, I'm not... This is in the tutorial. I'm not taking you step by step, but you, you get to uh, come along with me and watch my process. So the first thing I want to do is say, okay, this is in a div. Nope, it's in an aside. And I gave it a class of EHW error. And you can see there's nothing being applied, so there must not be an EHW error already. That means that I can take and click this plus, and then... Uh, can I move that? I can't move that. But what I'm going to do is over here, I can see it says style sheet. So I'm going to click that. And that moved my class over to the inspector style sheet. This gives me a place where I can type in my, my class properties that I want to test out and watch them in real time without having to worry about clicking a box and unclicking the box. So here we go. What I want to do is, first of all, let's put a border on it so I can see where it's at. A solid. And let's make it brown. Brown seems to go good with an error. And let's do two picks. And yeah, there we go. All right, let's put some padding in there. We'll go with 1EM universally. Cool. Uh, let's make the error a little smaller than the page. So let's go with, but when I say page, what I mean is this area here. Technically, the page is here to here, the full viewport. But I'm just talking about this content area in here. So we're going to go with 95%. And we're going to go margin 1EM auto. What that does is that puts a 1 EM margin on the top and on the bottom and puts uh, left and right as auto. I'm actually going to set the top margin to 2 EM. Just separate it. No, let's just go with 2 EM for both. Right. Yeah, I like that better. Um, okay, let's give it. Uh, border radius. We'll give it some rounded corners. 
Uh, let's see, 50 percent. Oh, no, we don't want an oval. Let's try 0.6 BM. That should give me about 10 picks in this. Okay. And what else? Let's make a background. I'm going to pick, uh, let's go with Alice Blue for now. That'll allow me to take this. Oh, no, that's actually pretty good. But I'm going to take and pick this green. And then I'm going to kind of lighten it. Uh, maybe about right there. And then I'm going to take and change the hue to red. That's kind of a good one. And let me see if I can. Oh, I like that. A little bit wider. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so we'll go with that color. And I'm just going to go ahead and save that aside for now. I can edit that in a minute. Okay. No, I don't want to close it. Are you sure you want to continue? No. We want to minimize it. Here we go. Drag my thing down here then. Okay, and this is my CSS style sheet online. And I'm going to say error class. Save it. And we'll go back. So in order to not, there we go. I'll just go that far and go there. And now if I refresh it, it should have saved that class already. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Now, we'll go in there and we will play around here. Okay, let's see. Let's make the let's reduce the line height. All right, fifty. Oh, one good. Fifty one, two, three. Uh, all right, so this is just experimenting. Let me six. Okay, so let's see, one point two. Let's go with one point five. All right, now let's drop that out and see if there's any change. Okay, yeah. I like that better. And what else? What I want to do is kind of make it look like this. So, and memory function location. Okay, so this is actually a table. We're not going to be able to make it a table. So, there we go. So that's the font we have right now. We could also try making a uh, color, color, brown. That's nice. What if I make it red? Color, dark, red. Mm, kind of like that. Yeah, I think brown just looks better. So we're going to go and finalize that. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for joining me and make sure to subscribe and have a great day.